Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve uh, for the missing length um, giving, using my Pythagorean theorem. Now, again, remember the Pythagorean theorem, a lot of more commonly is used as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. However, I like to write it as leg squared plus leg squared equals my hypotenuse squared. All right. Now, the first step we want to make sure we do is identify what is the hypotenuse. So I go to my right angle and say, where is my angle pointing to? And it's pointing to 12. So that's going to be my hypotenuse squared, or you could label it as your c squared. Therefore, my two legs are 8 and nx, um, or my a and my b. And it doesn't matter how you want to label them, because you can see in this formula, it doesn't matter what the legs are, um, or if they're a or b. They're, you square both of them and add them. So I have 8 squared plus x squared equals 12 squared. All right, so now I just go ahead and simplify. So 8 squared is 64 plus x squared equals 144. Now I need to solve for x squared, so I'll subtract a 64 on both sides. And therefore, I get x squared equals 80. To solve for x, I need to undo the squaring, so I'll take the square root of both sides. And I have x equals the square root of 80. And now what I need to do is I want to make sure I can always simplify the square root of 80. So I want to look at what is the largest square number that evenly divides into 80. So square numbers start at 4. Now 4 does divide into 80. But I want to see, is there another number, a square number that's larger? 9. 9 does not divide into 80. Um, so then I go to 16. And 16 does divide into 80. Let's check 25. No. 36, no. 49, no. So it looks like 16 is going to be my largest number. So I write this as x equals the square root of 16 times 5. Now I can take the square root of 16, which equals 4 times the square root of 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the missing leg by using your Pythagorean theorem. Thanks.